Bonjour, Emily Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I posted. I'm back at school, so I apologize about this. Uh, but welcome back. And for today's video, I thought I would tell you about something I just bought to keep me warm when I'm shooting outside. So let's get started. So this morning in New Hampshire, you're not going to believe the temperature. It was so insane. It was minus 11. But if you take into consideration the wind chill factor, it was actually minus 37 Fahrenheit. What does that mean in Celsius for all you guys who are in Celsius, which makes sense to me? Well, it was minus 25 degrees and with the wind, it was actually the same as in Fahrenheit, minus 37. Oh, so cold. But I wanted to get out and, uh, and actually I did some frozen bubble, which was really fun. But oh my God, so cold. Fortunately, I had bought some new gloves a month ago, so um, I really tested them out today and they work very well. That's why I decided to do a video about my new gloves. Actually, I should say my new glove system because um, it's a system, it's modular. You have liners, you have a shell, and you can also uh, have even a cover on your glove if you're gonna be in Antarctica and you really need extra protection. But right now in New Hampshire, although this morning maybe the extra cover would have been nice, but honestly, it was fine with my liners and with my mitten. So the company who make those gloves are called the Heat Company. There is a little flame, a little heat on my gloves. They are not heated, but they do take a heat pad. So you see right here, there is a little pocket. You can open it and they actually send me a sample of their heat pad but you can buy a similar heat pad in every supermarket here in the US. And so you put it here inside that little um, pocket and you have a pocket on each of the gloves. This morning when I was shooting, I actually took the mittens out and I was fairly, actually fairly comfortable. I spent a lot of time um, talking with someone at the heat uh, company and asking a lot of questions. I explained where I was, I explained my problems, I get really, really cold, I have horrible, horrible circulation, so my hand would turn completely white. Um, and so even when the temperature is not that cold, I really need gloves that will do the work and help me to shoot for many hours outside when I'm waiting for the beavers or any other animals that I'll be photographing. So the person I talked to recommended those liners. They are the Wind Pro liners. And I used to have Merino liners that I liked, but I was always cold. And I thought that strange Merino wool that should help me out. Um, you know, all my layers are Merino wool. I have wool socks from Smart Wool. Uh, I have uh, pants that are merino, and I also have a long sleeve t-shirt that's merino. So I swear by merino, that's all I wear, but wasn't working for the gloves. So those gloves are uh, windproof. That means that they stop the wind very well, and that was really my problem. Too much wind, um, the merino gloves were not working for me. So. I'm very, very happy with just the liner. But this morning, you know, minus 37, I really needed the mittens. And so the mittens, I went for the most expensive one. And full disclosure, those gloves are on the very expensive side. I decided to invest because I'm done being always cold. So that's gonna be gloves that I will have for a really, really long time. Um, and I'm not associated in any way with the heat company. I just like their product. It worked very well for me. That's why I'm doing this video, but uh, I'm not affiliated with them. 
What I like about this glove is that you have another pocket. You can put your keys, you can put, you know, small little things, but you can also put another heat pack if you want. Um, so that's pretty neat. So if I put my hand inside with my liner, I have a zipper and that lets me, uh, you know, open half of my glove. There are some magnets, clip the magnets and it stays very well. And here is the same. There is actually, especially if I should, you know, put my other mitt on and you can see, I can just grab that extra little piece of uh, leather and then clip the magnet back. And here I have access to all my fingers. Uh, and then you have uh, those two places where you can tighten your glove and so you don't have any air coming in or snow. So very well thought of. And it's actually pretty easy uh, to, uh, you know, put this back and close it with the mitten, which is important, right? Uh, just with the liner here, it's a little harder, but uh, not too bad. One thing though that I do not like is, first of all, I'm not sure about uh, the leather. I wish there could be some kind of grip because it's a little bit slippery. So be careful if you end up buying those. So yes, the leather makes the glove very warm, but it's a little slippery right now. Uh, but with time, hopefully um, that will change. Now, another thing that I don't understand why they did that is why I would open it that way. I should be opening my glove the other way because I don't need all my fingers out. Most of the time when I shoot, I use those uh, two fingers, right? Just those two. That's it. That's all I need. And I would like to keep my other fingers inside my glove. And if the zipper was here, I could just close it and just leave that one finger out. It would allow to not have as much air going inside my gloves and keeps me even warmer. As a photographer, two fingers, it's enough for us. Uh, so let's keep our other fingers even warmer. So that's the two little thing that are bothering me a little bit with the glove, but overall, they're warm <laughs> and this morning I was able to spend an hour with zero problem and my hands were warm in minus 37. It's a miracle because I'm always cold. Um, that's why I can really recommend. I just hope that in the future they'll consider doing a zipper the other side and maybe help put something so we have a better grip as photographers. Also, another thing I forgot to mention, comes with a carabiner. Who doesn't like carabiner? I love carabiners. So you can clip them if you don't want to use them and uh, you can clip them to your pants, to your bag. It's very convenient. Uh, same, there is another little uh, hoop here where you put the carabiners. And if you want to keep them uh, close to your hands, they have those little thing. Oops, here we go. And now my glove is not going to be lost in the woods because I'm very good at losing things. I feel like I'm back in, uh, you know, kindergarten where my mom would uh, give me gloves and you tie the gloves to the kid. That's me. Hasn't changed, but uh, I really appreciate that. Makes my life easier as a photographer. Now, how about you? What type of gloves are you using? Let me know in the comments below. Have you heard of this company? Are you using those gloves? Are you satisfied with them? I've only had those for a month now, uh, but I'm curious um, if you had them for longer, put a comment below. Let me know how you like them and uh, let me know what type of uh, gloves you went for because they have so many options you can take. Now, before I stop this video, I want to thank you all again so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. If you are not a subscriber, it's never too late. Click on the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. Uh, thank you so much. It really, really helps me uh, to support the channel and to keep on creating uh, videos for you. 
Uh, it's been a busy couple of weeks. I mostly stay indoor doing macro and having fun. Um, but uh, what have you been up to? Let me know in the comments. What are you looking for in 2023? And talking about 2023, next week I will be on Rob Trek channel. Most actually, probably all of you know him. Uh, he has uh, quite the channel dedicated to Macro for Third. So I've been joining him and some other OM system ambassadors and Macro for Third uh, photographers. So excited. And just we will be answering questions uh, live. We'll be talking about the future of Macro for Third. I'm going to put the link uh, below if you want to join us next Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also, um, a few of you have been asking about editing videos. I actually just had one release with BNH about editing bird photography. So I'm going to put the link right here. You can click on it, go and watch the video. Let me know um, what your thoughts are on the video. I really appreciate it. It's part of the bird photography series that I did with BNH and OM system. So um, if you haven't watched it, uh, go back and watch it. It's uh, warm in the sea coast of New Hampshire, not as it is today, so cold. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. And again, thank you so much for all your support and I will see you next week. Au revoir.